Hi, I'm Chenille, a music student. Welcome to your University of Wolverhampton City Campus Tour. Follow me. Here we are at the Courtyard, a £4 million investment designed by one of our very own graduate architect students. We run loads of events here such as student parties, international fairs and even an open air cinema. It's a great place to get involved. Here in the Millennium City Building, you'll find the Institutes of Health, Psychology, Social Care and Information and Language Processing. The Ambika Poor Building is a hub for student activity. We have Careers and Enterprise, the Workplace, the Students' Union, a Santander Bank, a campus shop, a gym and the library for when you want to study quietly and on your own. Behind me is a shortcut to the Wolfaruna Building, home to the Faculty of Science and Engineering's Learning and Teaching Rooms. It's also home to the prestigious Chancellor's Hall, which holds ceremonies such as homecoming and graduation receptions. Within the Wolfaruna Building is our Arena Theatre, a fantastic art space with a packed programme of music, comedy, drama and more. It's also at the centre of the University's annual celebration of the Arts, Arts Fest. Named in honour of the brilliant mathematician and World War II codebreaker, the Alan Turing Building delivers our Faculty of Science and Engineering courses. The University will soon reveal its new Springfield campus in Wolverhampton. The £100 million project is transforming a 12-acre Grade II former brewery into an architecture and built environment super campus right here in the city. The Rosalind Franklin Building is a modern science facility named after the pioneering scientists. This recent £21 million development includes state-of-the-art laboratories, teaching and meeting rooms. If art is your passion, then welcome to the George Wallace Building, which is just a short walk across the Ring Road. The School of Art was established in 1851 and has been a shining light of the university ever since. Specialist facilities such as personal studio spaces allow students to explore their craft and every year final year students can display their work in the degree show. Another addition to the city skyline is the Lord Swage Paul Building, named after our Chancellor. It's home to the University's Business School and features contemporary teaching rooms and academic skills pods. As well as being home to the School of Humanities and various university services, the Housman Building includes pods and social learning spaces for both individual and group revision. Here we are in the Mary C. Cole Building, featuring the School of Social, Political and Historical Studies. It is also home of the Law School, featuring a mock courtroom, lecture theatres and teaching and learning spaces. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed your City Campus Tour. As you can see, it has so much to offer, such as its shuttle bus service between campuses, as well as the city's great links across the UK. Thanks for watching.